Hi, this is Mike again with Jordan Tech Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to look at Canvas discussions um, and how they differ from assignments and other types of uh, things in Canvas. Um, I use Canvas discussions every day for my warmups um, to get kids engaged. Um, so you can, if you run a Chromebook classroom um, or you have a computer lab like me, it's a good idea. Um, if you have your Chromebooks out, you know, often, uh, it's just a good way to get kids engaged. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at uh, how it works. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm in my uh, sandbox right now. Um, so all I did was just choose a course. I'm going to choose a course just for the example from my sandbox. And then once the course opens, you want to go to discussions. And then you want to go plus discussion. And then this is the editing area um, of the... Um, of the discussion portal right here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a topic for the discussion and then the question stem and then anything else you want the uh, your students to do. Um, you can really do anything because they can upload anything to their answer. They could upload essays, they could upload pictures, diagrams, uh, studio, um, Canvas studio uh, videos, really anything. Um, so then once it's all in there, it kind of looks like, let's see, this. So I'm right in the middle of creating it um, and also responding to it. And then we'll look in the student view to see um, how it works. So uh, this is the question stem. So this is when we were here, that the information that you find here in where it says port photography all the way down to this end, this period, all of this stuff is the stuff that you put right in here. Okay. Um, so in what I'll do is I'll just, how about I just copy it like this and then throw it in there. So that's like the question stem. And then we can just go like this and then under topic title to port photography. Um, and then in the discussion while you're creating it, um, basically you just do the same thing that you would kind of for an assignment. Um, I'll just explain the differences right now. So down here, um, uh, my warmups are graded. Um, I also allow liking. Um, and you can also do users must post before seeing replies. Um, for my course in photography, I kind of want them to see what other students are doing to get some ideas because it can be intimidating. Um, but if you're, you know, um, if it's like test review, then I might put users must post uh, before seeing replies so they don't just copy other replies. Okay. Um, so for me, four points, all my assignments are worth four points. Um, and then the response is going to be considered their submission. Right, and then you just put in the due date and you're good. So once all that happens, it looks like this, okay? Um, then there's a reply button and I already pushed the reply button. It's a blue button that appears here, but we'll we'll put it in student view so you guys can see um, that as well. So uh, I'm responding to the question. So what are the elements in portrait photography explained in two or more sentences? And I put the elements here. And then the most important element is portrait is that it's a photo of stage and not spontaneous. And then it says upload a portrait in either of the following genres. So if you want the students to upload media, it's super simple. They have all of the tools that you see here. Okay. So if you want them to upload media, you just have them go upload image. And then this will come up. They click it. And then let's see. Then the first one was a fashion portrait. Okay. All right. And then the next one was a sports portrait. So we'll do that too. And then we'll come up here, upload image, upload, and then sports, submit. And then the, your students can uh, resize the pictures um, if they're a little bit too big. You just resize this guy to there. So we have fashion, we have sports, and then the final one was business. Okay, and then come here upload image. Okay, and then business, submit. Okay, and then we will make it small, like the others. Okay, and then so I have my three examples. And then what I would do is I would just go reply. So this is what your students would actually do. Okay, so there's the question stem. Um, there's the reply. Um, and so basically, what students um, have the ability to do down here is they can reply to what I put in. Okay. Um, and then they can also like it. So those are the choices that they have. All right. And so the next step is let's go ahead and take a look at it in student view. Um, so um, actually, first, let's go ahead and um, put it in modules. 
So really all I did was just go plus module and then I did a warm up 103123. And uh, so I've also had questions about how do I um, add something that I created in discussions or I created in quizzes and add it to a module. It's super easy. You just click the plus sign. And then you can see if I go to right here, um, I go to discussion, portrait photography pops up right there. Um, so anything that you've created will pop up here so you can add it to a module. Okay. Um, so you can see I've added it to the module, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to student view so we can see exactly how students are going to look at it. Click portrait photography. And then what you can see is you can see the question stem. Then you can see the reply that I came up with, but also too, as you can see the reply button here. Um, so students can create an original response here and then reply to each one of their classmates here. Um, it's a great way to facilitate a discussion. Um, and then what you could do is after this, you could have a classroom discussion, you could have break them groups, you could do like a in or outer circle, you could do like a bunch of different things after you do this. Um, but that's basically the gist of how you create a canvas discussion. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me.